Richard Pryor Jr. who's just adding the Comical Radio address into his phone. He's plugging it in. He hasn't even been on the show yet, and he's already committed to coming back for another try. That's right. I'm going to try it again. So have you met uh, Danny LaBelle and Chris Iacono yet? Yes, we actually met at the uh, Green Room with Paul Provenza. Oh, right yeah. He's, a, he's yeah. a very nice guy, Paul Provenza. He was on the show here on Tuesday. Yeah, that's as a matter of fact. It's pretty good. So uh, do you know what you're going to talk about on the show today? Yeah. Drugs, sex, rock and roll, I guess, something like that. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> Listen to Comical Radio on iTunes. It's, a, it, it's kind of a... Uh, the people that you think would be there, that you reach out to, aren't. But then there's the people that are up and coming and different things like that are the, really the nicest people because they really appreciate what he brought to the table and what yeah. he did for comedy. So none of the big guys have tried to reach out and help you guys or anything? No, not really. Because they do all these benefits for like Greg Giraldo's kids. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure I need a benefit. <laughs> why, why don't we have a benefit? We all need a benefit. Why don't we do a benefit for Richard Pryor's yeah. kids, man? Yeah. They should. Well, you guys, they're older. Yeah. Still. Well, not all of us are older. I think you need a benefit more when you're older than when you're younger. There's when you're younger, I got a broke back. Dude. You don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it all. You know. Yeah. You don't have all those bills and shit. But there are six of us, so you know. So we'll do six benefit shows. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Get Seinfeld on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, how many of these guys did you get to meet growing up? Eddie Murphy, Gene Wilder. Eddie, Mur uh, Eddie these? Murphy. I remember Eddie Murphy a lot from the comedy store and different things like that. And, uh, just, I mean, if you've ever been to the comedy store back in that day and everything, they're just everybody was there. You know, I was really friends with Sam Kinison and different mm -hmm. things like that. So those kind of people, he kind of like took me under his wing and kind of like kind of took care of me and stuff because I got in the period where I was like. Either the drugs really, really bad, and then there was a period when I went into rehab, drug rehab. And so I get out of rehab, and he gives me a, a welcome back gift, and he gives me a, a fifth of Jack Daniels and an eight ball of Coke. <laughs> <laughs> welcome out of rehab. <laughs> 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 yeah. I can't do it. <laughs> Better than a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Was, was the comedy store kind of a second home to you then? Yeah, I used to hang out there all the time. Plus, I worked there. I did the door, and I used to do the seating in the, in the original room, and then work the main room, and different things like that. So I would have time where I would get up, you know. And then upstairs, we did a lot of improv upstairs. So I was always there and always around, and you know, Mitzi Shore and different things like that. And when Polly Shore was starting out and all that, so it was it was nice and it was a great learning experience. But that's when I first started really singing there too. So yeah. I learned I could sing. Gene Wilder, was he somebody you knew growing up? Not really. You know, you know, I, I get asked this a lot, a lot, you know, people work well together and have chemistry, it doesn't mean that they're friends and they talk all the time. So it's kinda like one of those situations. You, so your dad and Gene weren't actually friends? No, they weren't actually friends. They work well together. I mean they work well and had excellent chemistry. I, quick question: Why um, I heard the story that um, your dad was originally going to be cast in the role of the sheriff in Blazing Saddles. Mm -hmm. What yeah, he actually got writing credit for that? Yeah. yeah. What? How come he didn't take it? Because drugs. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that answered that one. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Red Fox. Did you get to know Red Fox? Uh, yeah, I knew Red Fox, which was the nice knowing him. So that that was a good thing because my dad used to write for that as well. Sanford and Sons, well too. So yeah, yeah, I got to meet a lot of people. Who, Paul Mooney, I mean, I, I can go on with it. Who are, who are the, some of the ones that, that you value getting to know the most? Um, the person that was probably around the most around was Paul Mooney. He was around my dad a lot, so I knew him better than anybody. Him and my dad's producer, David Banks, those were, you know, who's a funny guy as well, but right. those are kind of the people that I was always around. Was there a kinship between you and Paul because you're both gay? Was there something like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, is that not a spoken of thing? Oh, no, but I don't know. With Paul? Yeah. That's not? No, I haven't heard that. Oh. Oh, I mean, not that I haven't heard it. But <laughs> 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 I thought that was out in the open. Well, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> I had no, no idea that that was... I don't, I don't, no, I don't think it, it had nothing to do with that. It had to do with, you know, my dad's friends over there. Right. You know, just that... But he wasn't supportive to you in it or anything? Well, the, you know, the thing but back during that time period, I didn't know what I was or what I was doing. So it wasn't a thing where I was going to admit to that was my life or my lifestyle or anything like that back in that time. There was no way I was going to. 
I mean, I actually got confronted once before. My dad actually confronted me and asked me. Really? Oh, I acted my ass off. You didn't I tell him? I could have got an Academy Award. Oh, no. You never told I him? Blew, oh, yeah, I did. Oh. Actually, yeah. I blew him and cried. How dare you say this? And how can you say that I'm gay or ask that I'm gay? Well, what it was is I had two hitchhiker guys stay in the guest mm -hmm. house and they were kind of there, new to the bed. When you finally told him, was he supportive? Yeah. Okay. So there was no reason to act in, no. in other words. No. No. Just but you know, when you're a kid, you don't know what your parents are going to do or how they're going to react or anything like that. Right, but right. Yeah. You think it's the end of your life if right. someone would, you know. What are the best drugs you experimented with? Oh, Which ones did you like the best? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, the period when I was did the crystal meth that was an interesting period. Wow, that's such a that's such a white yeah. drug. But it's <laughs> such a this was way back before you know like it is now. This was way back. And, yeah. And it was like you know coke, of course, and stuff like that. I remember actually at the time period when I was actually shooting crystal meth in my arms, mm. and I remember actually laying there, and I would call somebody on the phone and said, I'm dying. And they'd be, what? I said, oh, you're late. I'm dead. I'm oh. dead. <laughs> I'm here with Richard Pryor Jr., who just got done uh, with Comical Radio and crooning the hosts and guest hosts. Yeah. Is it, are, are your vocal cords tired? Oh, it was a struggle. I'm just, that was the hardest interview I've had to do in my life. No, it was actually Seriously? fun. I had a great time. <laughs> You did, talk, you did talk about a lot of stuff. Uh, so one point I actually came up with that Chris used on the year, which was the uh, the Dick Pryor name. You said you wouldn't. You wouldn't. No. Con one thing I hate though. the name Dick. First of all, so mm -hmm. that's. Ew. I had an uncle named Dicky, and everybody called him Uncle Dicky, so I would never. Mm -hmm. I couldn't torture myself like that. That's horrible. Yeah, that, I, I guess that'd be rough. Yeah. Be and our last president, Dick Nixon, was you know. Yeah. Mired uh, in scandal. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but you should come on the show more often. Oh, I'm definitely, definitely plan on it. Anytime I'm invited or just stopping by, I, I love to be on the show. It's great. And a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to plug before you go? Um, just check me out on Twitter and uh, Facebook. And if you're in the Roanoke, Virginia area, look me up on the 15th, 16th of July. All right. RPJ, everybody. All Thank right. you very Bye -bye. much.